this photo of me when I was a little girl and I was spending the night at somebody's house and they took this picture of me because I was sleeping with my two teddy bears that I brought with me and so I want to scrapbook this photo and I assume it was taken in the late 70s early 80s um, because I was about 10 about 9 or 10 or 11 there so I wish I had an exact date but I don't and I remember those teddy bears because I was crazy about them but anyway I'm going to use the Oh Darling collection because I already have it out um, because I just scrapbooked a, a picture a couple pictures using that collection so I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward and let you watch thanks guys okay so I'm going to flip through the paper pad and look for a piece of paper and I chose this yellow paper even though I really dislike it um, I was trying to do something outside of my comfort zone and the picture was really yellow and I probably shouldn't have picked a yellow piece of paper for a yellow photo because the walls are yellow and the curtains are yellow everything in that photo is yellow but anyway I just kind of went with it and I chose papers that I did not particularly like like I said I was just trying to do something outside my comfort zone and I was hoping that it would turn out in a way that I would like it at the end and I do like the design I just still don't like the papers but besides that I like the way it turned out so I'm gonna cut my papers down into strips and I've chosen um, two different background papers the flower paper the big flower paper and the little flower paper or floral whatever and so I'm gonna stagger those strips across my page, making them longer as the page goes down. And I'm just sparingly using adhesive because I'm gonna sew these down. And I'm gonna do quite a bit of sewing on this layout. I'm gonna sew each strip up and down the sides and the top and bottom. So I'm just gonna glue the other end down. And this adhesive is like a dot roller, so it's not real thick and it won't um, gum up my needle like the other adhesive does. So I just pulled out my sewing machine and I'm going to change the thread real quick to a light pink. Which you really can't tell if it's pink or white, but it's pink. <laughs> and then I believe I put... I did I, I put the sewing on really really fast forward like seven times or eight times the normal speed um, I didn't want you guys to be bored watching me sew. there's nothing more boring than watching someone sew. I think <laughs> so I did that really put that on really fast so that it would be over quickly but you can still see me doing it I look like a speed sewer <laughs> which I'm not by the way <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and finish sewing and then I will be right back. Okay, so I've got all those pieces sewed down and I believe I did the back stitch so I don't have to glue down yeah I don't have to tape down the the little strings hanging off because I I did the back stitch at the beginning and ending of each line but I am going to trim them off and you can see how much sewing I did on that paper by looking at the back of it and I did a zigzag stitch which is my favorite and I was just showing you that up close real quick so now I'm going to start putting my page together and I realized that my photo just looks kind of funny sitting there and it needs a frame or a mat or something and I love that frame right there and I think it matches perfect but it's so wide that it's too wide for that photo because there's like um, blank space on either end so I decided not to use that and I'm going to work on my my title in a minute but I'm looking for something to mat my photo on and I, I'm going to choose a couple of six by six papers and just cut them down. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to use the six by six papers and cut them down and I'm going to do a couple of mats. So that's like a pinkish reddish paper and then there's that really I love that paper the six by six paper right there that floral I think that is one of the prettiest papers in this in this uh, collection and the the colors are really muted 
in this collection too which isn't my favorite thing because I really like bright bold colors and you guys know how I am I just I always choose bright bold colors and stuff but I'm trying to you know to use things that I would normally use so I've got my photo mats finished and now I've got this wood veneer that says you are my fave and I've got this little dolly chipboard sticker um, it's the closest thing I had to a teddy bear I I never played with dolls because when I was three I had a doll named Chatty Kathy and I got my pinky stuck in the little hole where you pull the string like you pull the string and it talks or whatever and somehow I got my pinky stuck in there and my mom had to drive and we lived out in the woods on this bumpy bumpy dirt road and it felt like it was miles long and she had to drive me like really late at night to my uncle's house and I remember every single bump making me cry because my finger <laughs> hurt. <laughs> and my uncle had to actually like ice my finger and cut the doll off around my finger because it was so stuck in there. They just couldn't get it off. Um, and that's the last doll I ever had. But I did have teddy bears and I really, really love my teddy bears. So I found a little, well, I don't know what you call that, like ribbon thing and I put that down underneath the wood veneer and then I put a paper bow down there as well and now I'm going to work on my title and I'm going to call it me and my bears and I didn't realize it when I started but I didn't have any M's so what I did was I took two ends and I cut off one of the loops and I just put it together and you'll see right here you can't even tell that it's not an M well I can't anyway see it looks like a regular M but I still needed um, an M for me and I didn't have one so I wasn't sure what to do and then I found these other thickers in my stash that are turquoise and they're glittery so I decided to use those and just spell out the word me so I'm gonna do that now put down me and I kinda like the way it turned out I think it's kinda cool I think I probably if I was redoing this layout I would have done bears maybe in the glitter too um, but you know it is what it is so now I've got some stickers and this one says happy and I'm just gonna put a piece of foam tape down at the bottom so that it puffs up a little bit and then I've got a sticker that says sweet and you can't see that sticker real well in the video but you can see it in in person and then there's a chipboard little chipboard sticker that says b10 and I put that down there too and that's my layout so it came together really quick after the sewing here's some photos thanks so much for watching guys bye